Alright, so uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Moon and as well a uh, rising. Weekly general tarot reading uh, March 2nd to March 8, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can uh, check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase a uh, reading of your choice. So that being said, moving to the first card here of the spread for you guys, we do have the star card, which signifies the topic of your week. Uh, followed by the energies which are feeding up the topic here, we do have the strength card. Then it's going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome. That is to be the sun card, so quite a bit of challenge here. Uh, moving next uh, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week and that is the most important card for what it seems that is to be the Knight of Wands. Afterwards, uh, we have how people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to give into people and most importantly with this one here, okay, the Knight of Wands. Uh, that is to be the Seven of Pentacles. And the final one uh, that we do have is going to be uh, the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you. We have the uh, Ten of Cups. All right. So quite of an, an unexpected good fortune is coming around. Uh, that is to be that is said by the gifts and the blessings and uh, the topic itself. But it will require quite of a uh, personal standing to take it, okay? But uh, that being said, before we go to the spread, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the star card as a topic, followed by energies feeding the topic, that is to be the strength. Afterwards, uh, we do have uh, the sun card as a, a challenge. Then the gifts and the blessings is going to be the Knight of Wands. Afterwards is the standing, uh, that is to be seven of pentacles, excuse me, and the last one, ten of cups, uh, guidance. So, um, moving into the first two cards here, uh, this is where the unexpected good fortune comes around. So, I will start this time around from the topic itself. And topic by the star card, uh, when, when, the star ca when the star card comes totally general, okay, uh, as a topic right now, it kind of signifies, the biggest thing that signifies, it is ending of a turmoil. Whatever turmoil you're going through, it's about to end. This week, March 2nd to March 8th, 2020. And uh, the new cycle that you are ending in, uh, uh, that you are entering in, excuse me, a new cycle of lack of turmoil, it's going to be a cycle of hope, high dreams, high ideals, unfolding love, opportunities, and etc. etc. So the, the star card just points that the tough times, either in career or either in relationship, are almost over. They're coming to an end now for one uh, or another, by one or another way. In your case here, by the gifts and the blessings, we do have a messenger. It's not messenger, but how do you say it? a person that comes and it is a harbinger, excuse me, harbinger of uh, this change. Uh, so how the energies those fe are feeding up that situation? Well, the strength card, it is the energies of uh, taming the, the beast within, meaning that you have persevered through that rough time, through that, uh, through those... Uh, times of turmoil so you're you persevere through a patience and now uh, your enthusiasm is going to be rewarded for it what I mean is that uh, you, you're going to be quite happy of how things are unfolding for you for throughout uh, this uh, this particular week now the strength card as well kind of points that you're not going to hold any grudge whatsoever for whatever happened to you back in the days and you're going to kind of like leave the um, the universe if you will or the karma to repay back those who did you wrong or uh, kind of to, to deal with the previous situations which you have not um, found how can I say it's uh, lucrative or happy and etc etc but all that comes right now for you throughout this week guys is to focus on the future because the star card it is one of those cards that urges you to think 
about the distant one. What I mean is that you shouldn't focus yourself on what you have been through. Now that that is going to be over. You should focus on what what can you do by picking up the pieces and how you can glue them together. Career or a uh, relationship wise and therefore uh, the star card kind of involves that's a bird's eye ego's eye excuse me kind of view that you need to lift yourself lift yourself uh, above the situation and kind of like try to make certain plans uh, for a like said a distant future instead of living for the day by day kind of like living for today and whatever happens tomorrow happens it's it's like uh, but, uh, well, what I'm trying to say here is that you need to grasp the opportunity and not allow it to slip through your uh, through your fingers. Uh, next card, it is the challenge that uh, you will have to overcome, and that is uh, the challenge of the Sun card. So that card itself kind of tells us that uh, you have been through a lot. Uh, it is because. Now, uh, the, the Sun card kind of points that you are to be quite, it will be quite difficult for you to find the energies to tackle with this new era of your life, if you will, of this ending of a turmoil. You are going to be so exhausted that probably the last thing that you would like to, to think of, it is new endeavors and new enterprises. Well, you have to go for it, okay? You got to make the most out of this quietness that is going to bestow upon you uh, for throughout this week. Another thing about the Sun card here, challenging wise, it is that you may kind of like once you kind of feel or see that um, you have no more problems or you don't have that big problems anymore uh, in your environment, career or relationship wise, you may kind of have the sense to rush the things through. And that will be another challenge for you that you need to allow this new era of lack of problems to unfold itself on its own accord or rather like naturally to unfold uh, uh to unfold in uh, to unfold itself so don't push it that is what i'm trying to say here because you may have that affinity to do so because if you push it at the end of the day is going to be a shade and you don't want that to happen you you, you want your new uh new life saying that way to unfold as naturally as possible so uh, just to give you an, an example with it guys uh, it is that uh, say you have been in a very abusive relationship okay and for one or another reason you have now the prerequisite to end that abusive relationship and that is like a, a fresh a, a fresh air in your um, in your life like you can breathe one more time once again and uh, you want to make the most out of it today not tomorrow not the other day but today and so you jump into numerous activities around not recognizing that first you have to allow this situation to unfold by its natural course meaning step by step and second like I said you may find it difficult to find all the energy you need so it is likely that if you approach the situation that way you are to find yourself um, uh, burned out at the end of the day and that will come to importance when we go to the next card but important with the sun is that uh, you should kind of like be mindful and conservative for your uh, uh once again for your energies and for your for your strengths just give yourself a bit of a uh, uh of a room to catch up your breath but while simultaneously kind of like you make up to-do list scratch scratch it down because once again you don't want to miss that uh, clearance that you're gonna have into your environment next one is going to be the gifts and the blessings and that is the gift and the blessing of the knight of wands and this is the ham the harbinger of change okay this person enterprising person who is 
um, uh, finds interest in you or into your project or into your work, say your business is struggling and is going through a turmoil, right? That is the client that is going to give you the biggest project that you have ever worked, for example, and that ends the turmoil of your business and you rushing the projects through because you want to show yourself capable, right? You don't want to catch up your breath. You just need to show how, uh, how um, committed you are to it. You screw the things around. So that is how it can unfold. So you got to give yourself a bit of a time to catch up your breath, sort your thoughts, pick up yourself together, get a grip and then do what you find best for you to move forward into the future. You have been in an abusive relationship. This person comes around, get rid, get, gets you rid of that relationship. And you are so grateful. You want to do everything for them, you know, and you want to jump into a relationship with them, that is. And you burn out very, very quickly because you jumped into it prematurely unprepared. You got you, you to gotta let it allow, uh, unfold naturally like said so knights of wands like said enterprising person that comes around now these people they like said finding interest in you in your business in your project uh in you as an individual if that's about relationship the best thing about the knights of wands it is that they don't shy away from helping people around in this case you and they are when as long as they are finding your thing interesting okay your business for example you know your endeavors or you as an individual they will be willing to do whatever it takes to get the thing done or to get to see the thing through so here we do have a bit of a catch that you have to feed their interest okay you you, you pretty much have to present them with something that is worth they are either time, emotions, money, if you will, and so on and so forth. So um, the other card here for you, Gemini, is going to be how people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into people and mostly into this person. So we do have seven of pentacles. And that is a bit of a contradictory card in this particular position. Now, from one hand, Seven of Pentacles points that that person is going to look at you as a someone who is very careful and does not want to repeat same mistake, same mistakes once again. They, that, that you don't want to end up in a similar situation of a turmoil with them, and that's why they are going to they are going to understand your lack of activity, which is. Uh, well placed at that particular their understanding is well placed it is because you would need time to catch up your breath and to sort your mind get a grip you know and it's so on and so forth from another standpoint though the seven of pentacles points that this person is going to look at you as a, someone who is waiting for a salvation that it's and is hoping that this salvation is lurking behind a the nearest corner and that is probably the thing that is going to provoke them to step out you know, or to yeah to step out and to take matters in hand to help you with your business to to get to cover you with their wings if you are into an abusive relationship to help you with what you with, with whatever you are struggling in because they they're finding it once again a interesting and that it is worth it and you you need to know that that is not yet love if we're talking about relationship that is a passion but that passion can be transformed in love it's just as long as you keep their interest fed uh, and uh, for that reason, once again, you got to make your plans, sort yourself and just do whatever floats your boat uh, here. But the, the, the most important thing is the thing for this one thing. Thanks to this one here. Uh, you are not going to you're not going to struggle anymore in one of your fields, that is. And uh, the last card that we do have uh, for you guys, uh, that is the guidance the tarot is offering. We do have Ten of Cups and uh, it's literally this card here tells us that you got to embrace it. Uh, it's, uh, it's that is because the Ten of Cups as a guidance points that throughout this week, whatever happens in relation to the uh, Knights of Wands is going to make your life either so, uh, either all of a sudden or slowly progressively start worth living again once again career or relationship uh, wise and you're gonna feel i would say even uh like 
protected, like um, emotionally fulfilled as well. And uh, uh, how can I say it? Um, it's like your flow is to stir once again and you are not oppressed or smothered under someone's tool. Um, now, important thing to be said with the Ten of Cups is you got to take your time to enjoy the situation, which is another sign that you should not rush it under any circumstances. No matter how beautiful it looks like, no matter how, uh, how can I say it, pressing it looks like, you should not rush it throughout this week, but give yourself time to catch up your breath once again, sort your thoughts, stand up, pick up yourself together, get a grip, and then when you are in the best shape possible, then you make a move moving forward with this Knight of Wands. So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below uh, is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can see uh, on the very front page all of my services, their pricing. And uh, as soon as you make a purchase, depending on what purchase you made, uh, I will come back to you in 24 hours explaining you um, how your reading is going to take place. So hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.